Welcome to Winnie Wednesday. Here she is, Miss Winnie herself. Can you come say hi? I have some treats for her today, so maybe she might behave. <gasps> you want some treats? Come here. Come here, Winnie. Are you being stubborn? Come on. She doesn't trust me anymore. In fact, when I was picking out what, what lab I wanted, you know, do I want chocolate? There she is. Chocolate, black, yellow, red fox is a lab color now, too. I chose chocolate and my parents said, oh, no, 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 chocolate labs are obstinate. They're, they're difficult to train, they're stubborn. And I thought, mom and dad, seriously, you're gonna be discriminatory towards the chocolate lab. Now, I have to wonder if they're right and don't you dare tell them because I don't like to admit that I'm wrong. She's very stubborn. Up until this past week, she hasn't been in her kennel very much. That's on me. She's got a little separation anxiety, that's on me. But when I said go home, she always went right in without an issue. But this week, she had to be left in her kennel for a little bit longer, so three hours. She's four months old, so it was within the right limits. But she knew that once she went in that kennel, life would end. Go home, Winnie. Winnie. Obviously, I was leaving her to a death sentence, locking her in a box, forcing her to stay in one place, and no doubt the cat was torturing her. On, on the outside saying, ha ha, I'm free, you're not. So this is what Winnie did. Winnie, hi baby. <laughs> See, she's a little bit more stubborn these days. And so I started thinking, um, there's passage of scripture in Zechariah and it says this, your ancestors refused to listen. They stubbornly turned away and put fingers in their ears to keep from hearing and turned to their hearts to stone. And I thought, well, that's, that's actually a really great picture, doesn't it? Because as children, what would we do? We'd say, I can't hear you. I'm not listening. Na, 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 na. And so that's the image I see of the Israelites in this passage from Zechariah. They're putting their ears, they're clogging their ears and going, oh, no, 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 God, we're not listening. We can't hear you. So we can't actually follow because we get to do our own thing. And Miss Winnie does the same thing, the exact same thing. In fact, I'll tell her to do something and she'll just like, oh, well, I don't wanna do it. So I'm just gonna look the other way as if not looking at me, as if putting your fingers in your ear says, I don't have to do it now. But look at that face. Look at that, look at my girl. Look at that, how can you not love that face? And when I look at her, I'm like, there's no way this could have a heart of stone, but she does, the Israelites do, and to be honest, each one of us does as well. I've seen them in hearts of stone in many faces. I've seen hearts of stone when I look in my own mirror, and look at my own reflection. It's a reality. And just like Winnie doesn't want to go in her box, and I don't blame her, it's not like being out of the box. Plus, the tennis shoes that she likes to chew are what? Not in the box. The toilet paper that she likes to destroy, not in the box. So why would she want to be put in a box if all the fun stuff is outside the box? So those Israelites in the Old Testament, the baby, Israelites in the Old Testament, God was putting them in a box. A box to keep them safe, mind you. Just like I put Winnie in the box to keep her safe when I'm not home. But the Israelites, well, they looked around Oh, those cultures, I like that food. Ooh, that one's a nice looking stuff. I could use that for a spouse. Oh, wow, look at their gods. Oh, I want some of those gods. So the Israelites refused to get in the box. Just like Miss Winnie is a little stubborn and refuses to get in the box. But it's not because God is cruel to the Israelites. It's not that I'm cruel to Winnie. It's because God was doing this process with them. And it's called sanctification. I love that word. You can use it at your next um, family dinner and you'll be the smartest one on the planet. Sanctification is the process of being made holy. That's what God is doing with the Israelites all the way through the Old Testament. He's making them holy, a people after his own heart. And what motivated them was sadly not God. They weren't chasing after God's heart. They were chasing after their own things their own things that filled their own wants and desires. They remember the golden calf? Yeah, so we're like that too. 
Winnie, of course, is motivated by what? Food. <gasps> you want some treats. <laughs> you saw her drop the stick for that. Mint Winnie is motivated by food and love. She loves to be told she's a good girl. But she's also motivated by things that I'm not so pleased with, you know, like getting into the trash can, all sorts of things that don't make me as happy. But that's the Israelites and that's us as well. When we find what motivates us, when we find what it is we really want out of life, then we can actually start looking at the things that we stick our fingers in our ears and fail to listen to. Because if Winnie was given away, she'd have bacon and steak for dinner every night. No puppy chow, bacon and steak. If you and I were given our way, then we could do all sorts of fun things. But God says, you are created as a people for me so that we can be together. I will be your God and you will be my people. And that's a wonderful thing. But too often we do tend to put our fingers in our ears. I know. I don't think chocolate labs are any more obstinate than other labs. Just like I don't think some people are more obstinate and stubborn than other people. Okay, well, some people are more stubborn. I can name a few, one being myself. But when we look and find out what motivates us, what really gives us our drive to do and be the people in this world, when you look at that, if it's anything other than God and fellowship with God, believers and telling the good news and being that person that God is creating you to be. If it's anything other than that, you got to go back to prayer. And you got to go back to prayer and take your fingers out of your ears. And you have to listen. A lot of times we pray, we just ask for what we want and fail to listen to what God wants. We too have to take our fingers out of our ears. We too have to stop being so stubborn be so much easier if we were just dogs because it seems so much easier for them. And training up lab is not easy. <laughs> I thought it was going to be better. But you know what? We're all created as God's creatures and there's forgiveness and grace and love in all of it. So just be vulnerable to God's call in your life. Be willing to go in that box because that's where God wants to keep you safe. Willing to love people with that free and love ugh, of a puppy dog like Winnie. And just know that God's got your back. We're going to mess up. She messes up a lot. Well, not that much, right, baby? But God's good and He's going to catch you when you fall. All glory be to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.